action. Hello. Okay. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. How's it going, guys? Alrighty. So, oh, I'm just getting some messages. Okay. Some more. Oh, some more messages. Oh, hi. Okay. Anyways, sorry about that, people. This is why the phone needs to be turned the other way. All right. And we got time. Um. So, what's up? Um. I don't even remember the last video I uploaded. I think it was pretty much stating that I quit my job. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this more often because it seems like this is the start of the new beginning. The start of something new. High school musical. You already know. Ain't nobody got time. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's gonna have to go. That's gonna have to go. Anyways. Okay. My lips are dry. I need chapstick. Anyways, okay, so I quit my job and I've been Ubering here and there, which is great actually, because literally it's been amazing. I been doing it now for th three weeks. I quit my job officially for three weeks. This is gonna be the third week. I don't have a job. I don't have a nine to five job. I have a new car. So my dad tells me that I've had my new car for three years and my dad, I asked my dad yesterday, I was like, hey, like I only have this amount of kilometers on it. He's like, that's it. I was like, boo, I'm barely driving this car. So I was like, okay, you know what? Bam, I'm gonna officially make myself an Uber driver. I got my GST number and my HST number, and I also have my business license number to go with it. So I now have, officially have, and I just got off the phone with Amazon, so I have my own online business, my Amazon online business, which right now is in the positive. So I'm like, I think I'm 84 positive US right now. Hello, that I'm gonna get paid on the 28th. And then I do Uber on the side which is really, really great because essentially I want to kind of just phase out Uber and just be killing it with my Amazon. Done deal. Um, that's my main goal is to not work a nine to five job and just be me, do me essentially. It's been really, really, really hard. At first it was a really tough thing for me to do. Um, I didn't know what I wanted. <sighs> that was the hard part is not knowing what you want essentially and that's, I just know I need to change. Um, my dog passed away. When my dog passed away, um, it really changed a lot for me. I'm like, it's just really, it's been, it's been hard. It's been really hard. So, I don't know, it's hard to kind of explain because it's been so hard. Sorry if I look over here because over here is where like the screen is. I know over here is the camera. I know we got time for that. But okay, you know what? I need to start. That's my main thing is I need to start focusing on the thing. I'm too busy cooking it myself. So that's my apologies, guys. Um, my main thing I think I deal with is like depression and anxiety. Those are my main two things. And I know those are just like kind of words. And you can kind of make up anything kind of. But for me, my mental health is just like I feel sick all the time to my stomach. I, I get nervous about things. I feel like bad things are always going to happen because they usually do. And... I haven't been wrong. You Honestly, I haven't been wrong. So like normally bad things happen to me and it's just kind of like, you know what? Well, maybe I need to start documenting this and kind of like, you know, just taking it day by day because essentially yesterday I was having a really, really, really bad day. I didn't, I couldn't even go outside. Like, you know what I mean? And that's kind of where it's really hard for me working at essentially a nine to five job. And that's why I had to get out of it because I just can't do it. There's no way I can, like, there's no way. There's no way. My stomach just hurts so bad, so I worked so hard on my online business. I finally had that going, and it's doing really great. So, well, it's doing, it could be doing better. So now that I have the time to focus on it, I'm going to focus on it fully and just figure out my life and get everything in order. I just feel like pretty much everything has gone wrong possible that could go wrong for me, so... At this point, it's like, mm, what else could really go wrong at this point, right? Like, what else could really go wrong? Not much. So, as hard as it may seem, it seems like, at first, everything was really hard. Like, I had no money in my account, negative account. Like, I saved up so much money for my Amazon. I spent it all on my dog. I don't have credit cards. I don't do that type of shit, because, like, I just feel like, why would I need a credit card? Why do I need to borrow money from anybody? I just work for all my money. Like, I don't, 
I don't understand the concept of a credit card, but now I do because if I didn't spend thousands of dollars on my dog, I wouldn't be in debt. But essentially, I needed to do that so that I can understand that I need to quit my job and move on and kind of work on myself for once. I've been managing for so long now and I'm just like, you know what, it's time for me to manage myself. That's the thing. And so far, so good. Like, I'm still breathing. I'm still alive. My bills are paid. But it's been a lot of on the phone, back and forth with payments and this and that and switching days. And whew. I'm getting there, though. I'm honestly getting there. And my last video, I think I said, what do you do when you want to quit? You keep going. You don't quit. You never, ever want to quit. And that's I think that's where my anxiety comes from is I... I see myself in a certain place and I'm not there yet. And it's really frustrating to me, it really frustrates me. So instead, I'm gonna go chase that money, get that money. Uber has been absolutely amazing. I have made probably double the amount of money I would have made working at my prior job. Um, and it's all been on my own time. It's insane and I just can't imagine, I can't believe how like how much time I was devoting, how much time people devote a nine to five, like it's insane. And how much a nine to five, I think, really hurts people. Like it was hurting me every day. Because my, my just sometimes my mind and my body, it's not, oh, okay, hi. My mind and my body is not linking up and that's what's really hard for me is when my mind and my body don't link up or when something wrong happens to me, I need to relax, I need to chill. I can't focus on other things. I need to just relax. Like today, I had to deal with the Uber stuff. I had to deal with a whole bunch of Amazon stuff. I need a break after that. I need to chill for like two hours, okay? I need to chill, reset, get send out some quality content. Like, you know what I mean? I need to do something. But I couldn't do this because I'm working. Who is, that's why I understand, that's why I always look on, I always just think like, how do people not have time to like do the things they love? Because they're working all the time. That's the thing. And some people don't have it in them to go to work all day and then come home and then work even harder on themselves. However, I do because I don't want to work a nine to five. And that's why I work so fucking hard every single day to get myself out of it. And here I am. Don't like it too bad. Mad about it, then go get a job and figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. Too bad. And I think that's what the main thing is for me is that I need to get this out. I need to get it out. I need to be happy and proud of myself because I, I'm doing a really, really good thing for myself and a lot of people can't say the same. Sorry, can't relate. And I mean that in the nicest and like sweetest way because a lot of people are negative about it. A lot of people are like, oh, why are you quitting your job? You're, I'm quitting, you're just mad because you want, you're, no, you're not quitting and you have to work every day. Sorry, can't relate. I'm going to be just enjoying life and being happy for myself. If you don't want to be on that bandwagon, then keep going. You're either with me or behind me. There's no if, ands, or buts. Seriously. Straight up. Straight up off the rip. Straight up off the rip. Literally today, guys, too. I, got, I did an Uber. I drove this guy. I literally picked up three people today. Three people. Picked up one person in them. Like, I just got, I literally woke up whenever the hell I wanted, made my coffee, chilled, watched my show, got some info, chilled, did some more shit. Put my app on, in my house. Put my app on, boom. Get one, run out, go. Drive this girl to the mall quick, boom. Nine bucks, I think it was just under 10 bucks, nine bucks. Just drove this girl literally five minutes, five minutes. 10 bucks. So it's just like, oh, 10 bucks? Wow, 10 bucks. You're like, oh, that's it, 10 bucks? Okay, it's weird, but it's like only 10 bucks? Mm. That was one ride I took this girl. Five, the, the, the trip was five minutes. She was in my car for five minutes. That's not including the time that I went there to pick her up and then for me to come home. That's another, that's like, that's like 15 minutes already there. But of my time anyways, $10, okay, cool. Come back home, I come right back home. Come right back home, make myself another coffee. Have a coffee, sipping on the coffee, chill, da 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 da. Make up. A list of three, a list of things to do when I get back. Make that list of things. Boom, get one more call. Take this guy to Ancaster. From here to Ancaster is quite a bit. So it was a good ride. It was 20, 
Yeah, it was like $25 for his ride. I took him to Ancaster. This kid also too, didn't say one word to me, neither did the girl prior, didn't say one word to me the entire try, the entire ride, or I was gonna say trip, sorry, entire trip, headphones in. Hello, you are my favorite people. Headphones in. Hello, hello, I was like, oh my God. When I see the headphones in, I'm just like, ha ha, thank you, yeah. So the gravy, so the gravy, done. From there, I get a request that the person that wants to be picked up after I drop this person off, it's just down the street. So I'm picking one person up at 662. I'm picking the next person at 611. <laughs> so I drive down the street to pick this guy up. It, it warns me prior that this ride is a 45 minute plus ride. Cool, down. Pick him up, the app goes all weird. Like it gets all like, cause we're like in like Ancaster, okay? Ancaster is kind of like, Anyways, besides the point, it's not that bad, but like some parts are like, eh. so pick him up. The app goes all weird. Turns out I kind of know this guy from prior work being in the hospitality industry. I know him and I'm taking him to a location that I know. So we're taking him. It's an hour away though. App is like messed up, whatever. Drop him off. App says, oh my gosh, you've been off a lot. Like something's wrong with your connection or something. So. I hit that off, whatever, call Uber instantly, and I go, hey, like, there's something wrong with this this thing. They're saying, okay, right now we're actually experiencing really um, high volume of things going wrong, like with trips or something. So it's gonna be 48 hours until you get your, your fare. But essentially the fare's already calculated, and the the trip, it tells, it, it shows the length of my trip. So it shows that I picked him up from this point, dropped him off to this point. It doesn't, it didn't give me an amount. It didn't pay me an amount because it shows that I went zero kilometers, which doesn't make any damn sense. But I looked the, I looked the, um, I looked up the, the ride on my actual Uber app. So I put in the, the address from that point to the point that I dropped the person off and it was $78. So in literally three trips, I made a hundred dollars. Like, I'm sorry. And that is literally, I drove in there an hour. It takes an hour to get there. And then I just drive myself back. So an hour back. So that's two hours of my time. And at any point, not driving him there, but at any point driving back, my app's off. Because I, I need to make sure I get that paid. <laughs> app's off. I'm like, should I go get some, like, a smoothie or something? I'm thirsty. I'm like, you know what? Ain't nobody got time for this because it's going to be rush hour soon. So let me get my black ass home quick. Call him up. They go, hey, like, yeah, there's an issue, like, da 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 Call them back again, da da, -da there's an issue. Call us back Sunday. Everything should be fine. So, here I am. Other than that, everything else prior to that has been fine. Every, everything else. Like, I've been getting paid, I get paid weekly. If I don't want to get paid weekly, I can cash out instantly. I get a certain amount of cash out free, like, a week or something or a month. Amazing. So, when you can just pick up people, da da da, -da cash out. Done. Every day I'm hustling. Also, I live by the airport. So people around me always want to go to the airport. So airport trips are really good for me. So I'll wake up early morning, which I'm already up because I'm on a China time from my manufacturers from Amazon. So it's perfect. I'm already up at 3 a.m. anyways. So 3 a.m. I go out for 4, come back for 4, 5, 6, maybe come back for 6. $100. Done. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time. That's my goal. $100 a day. $100 a day times 6. You do the math. A week. You do the math, people. Okay? And I'm just doing whatever I want to do. And then on top of that, I'm making my own business on the side. Hello, like, cha-ching. Soon I won't have to Uber anymore. I'm just like, gonna focus so much on... <sighs> I can't believe I felt like so much shit a couple days ago. It was insane. Like, I, I think, oh my God. That is what the key to happiness is, is freedom. I can't wait to feel free. Free. I am free right now. I want to just scream out loud. I'm free. I'm king of the world. <laughs> Get your ass back down there, boy. Who knows where that's from? <laughs> if you guys know where that's from, sound off below. Anyways, I'm going to head out because this video is about to hit 15 and ain't nobody got time for that. Okay? I am going to literally try vlogging as much as I can because this is an amazing experience. Honestly, it is an amazing experience. I quit my job. Follow me on this journey. Where am I going next? Seriously, like, are you guys with me or not? Like, who's ready to follow me on my journey? <laughs> wow. Okay, follow me if you want or don't. Y'all gonna do what the hell y'all wanna do anyways. Y'all know the drill. 
I think that's gonna be my closing. That's my closing. Wow, I already got a closing. Anyways, like I said, y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do. Peace, take it easy, enjoy the weekend.